Good evening. Today I'd like to talk about reading vernier inch micrometer with 0 0.0001 inch resolution. In this micrometer, as you see here below, we have three scales. The first one is the scale which is on the sleeve and the minimum reading of this scale as I have talked in the previous presentation is 0.025 of an inch and the second scale is the scale on the edge of the thimble and this scale is divided into 25 equal partitions and each partition is read by resolution of 0.001 of an inch and here we have a new scale which is the vernier scale and the vernier scale is on the sleeve and this vernier is divided into 10 equal partitions and each partition is read as 0.0001 of an inch so the highest resolution in this micrometer comes from the reading of the vernier scale. Let's recall how to read the sleeve scale. As we have said in the last presentation, we have a scale of length of one inch on the sleeve. So this is a one inch length. And this one inch is divided into 10 equal partitions. So each partition is simply one tenth of an inch. The way how to read the main lines on the scale of the sleeve. This is line number zero. This is one tenth, two tenth, three tenth, four tenth, etc. And the last one is the line of one inch. So this is the way how to read the main lines on the sleeve scale. As you see, one partition of these divisions is equal to one tenth and the one tenth is divided into four equal partitions. So now simply we can compute for the minimum reading on this scale by div dividing one tenth by four so this dimension is 0 0.025 of an inch. So simply we can read any line on the sleeve scale. This is line zero. This is line 0 0.025. This line is 0 0.050, 0 0.075. This line is 0.1 inch. This line is point 125, this line is 0.225, this line is 0 0.450, this line is 0 0.625, 0 0.750, 0 0.850, and this line is line number one inch. So this is the way how to read the lines of the sleeve scale. Again, let's recall how to read the lines on the thimble scale. As we know that we have 25 equal partitions on this scale and each line is read by one thousandth. So this line, which is line number two, it's read as 0 0.002. Line number three is read as 0 0.003, etc. So this is the way how to read the lines of the thimble scale. Now we need to understand how to read the vernian lines. Here we have 10 equal separated lines on the vernier scale. So the line number zero is read as zero. Line number one is read as 0 0.0001. Line number two is 0 0.0002, etc. So this is the way how to read 
the vernier lines on the vernier scale. For example, for this micrometer, if we want to read the vernier scale here, as we know here we have 10 partitions for this vernier, one of these 10 lines should lines up with one line of the thimble scale. So as you see here, line number one on the vernier scale lines up with this line on the thimble scale. So we read this line as 0 0.0001 of an inch. So this is the way how to read the lines for the three scales. Now simply we can read any micrometer. For example, for this micrometer, the first reading, which is the sleeve reading, this is the last line appears on the sleeve scale before the edge of the thimble. So this line is 0.125 of an inch. So this is the sleeve reading. In order to read the thimble scale, we take this line as a reference line. So the line on the thimble scale below the reference line is line number 18. So line number 18 is read as 0 0.018 inch. So this is the thimble reading. What do we need now to complete all the reading is to get the vernier reading. Now simply we can rotate the sleeve of the micrometer in order to see the vernier lines. So as you see here, we have 10 lines. One of these 10 lines should lines up with one lines on the thimble scale. So if you see here, line number seven on the vernier scale lines up with line number three on the thimble scale. So line number seven is read as 0 0.0007. So this is the vernier reading. Now to get the total reading, we should sum up all of these three values. So the total reading is 0.1337 of an inch. See that the final readings for this micrometer con contains four decimal places. And the last place might be 0, 1, 2, 3, up to 9. Let's take another example. This is the last line appears on the sleeve scale before the edge of the thimble. So this line is 0.525. So this is the sleeve reading. In order to read the thimble scale, this is the reference line. So the line below this line is line number 5. So it's read as 0 0.005. So this is the thimble reading. The rest is to read the vernier scale. So simply we can revolve the sleeve. So as you see here, line number five on the vernier scale lines up with line number 10 on the thimble scale. So line number five is read as 0 0.0005 of an inch. So these are the reading for the three scales. Now simply we can sum up all of these values. So the final or total reading is 0.5314 of an inch. Let's say, let's take this example here. The last line appears on the sleeve scale is this line. This line is 0 0.350. So this is the sleeve reading. In order to read the thimble scale, this is the reference line, and the line below this line is line number 10. So line number 10 on the thimble scale is read as 0 0.010. So this is the thimble reading. Now we need to read the vernier scale. So we can revolve the sleeve of this micrometer in order to see the vernier lines. So as you see here, line number six on the vernier scale lines up with this line on the thimble scale. 
So line number six is read as 0 0.0006 of an inch. So these are the three ratings for the three scales. Now simply we can sum up all of these values to get the total reading. So the total reading for this micrometer is 0 0.3606 of an inch. That's all about how to read the inch micrometer, which contains a vernier, which is divided into 10 equal partitions. Thanks for your watching. Goodbye.